let's have a look at Shopware's system architecture. Send it, you can see the core deployment, which is the heart of the system. It contains business logic and all application interfaces. The core is the only component that is mandatory for a Shopware installation. It is connected to the database and the Elasticsearch cluster, which contains a denormalized representation of the product catalog used for searching. From its central location in the stack, the core can communicate with the other components by means of several public API endpoints. In Shopware Cloud Stores, the core is deployed as a composition of containers. Stateful components like the database and the open search cluster are deployed as a separate infrastructure service so that they can be scaled independently and updates to the code can be rolled out without affecting the data. Native AWS services like ELB, ECS or Elastic Cache are used to provide the necessary infrastructure. Fastly serves as a global cache and DDoS protected CDN for the static assets in front of the stores served from multiple AWS regions. An optional part of the core deployment is the built-in storefront. It is a fully functional front end that can be used to browse the product catalog and place orders. The storefront is built with Twig and can be customized using themes and overrides of the default templates. The storefront communicates with the core using the programmatic PHP facade of the store API. For more advanced storefront compositions, Shopware does not only offer API endpoints, but complements these using a framework called Shopware Frontends. It is a library of framework-specific JavaScript boilerplates and underlying logical components that are targeted at front-end developers with no Shopware experience. Shopware front-ends can be used to either directly with Shopware and the Store API or in combination with a CMS or digital experience platform. The last native component, as in maintained and deployed by Shopware, is the administration. It is a Vue.js-based single-page application that is used to manage content of the stores. The administration is deployed as a separate static application that can be hosted on any CDN or web server, and it utilizes the admin API to communicate with the core. The admin API is also used by third-party applications like ERM systems, ERP systems, or marketing automation tools. It is a RESTful API that is built into the shop record and can be used to manage the content and the configuration of stores. In terms of extensibility, Shopware offers various public extension APIs. To cover their entire functionality goes beyond the scope of this slide. However, it's important to note that Shopware allows to extend the core functionality without any knowledge of the Shopware core code. This is done by applying and providing domain-specific extension APIs which are designed to provide integration points for specific use cases with only the necessary configurations. These extension points cover functionality like tax and card calculation, payment, shipping, workflows, custom administration modules, and even custom API endpoints, to name a few. The extension APIs are used to integrate third-party applications into the Shopware ecosystem, but also to customize the core functionality on a per-store basis using so-called private apps. On a more technical level, there are multiple ways of integrating with the core, either through app scripts or functions which are executed synchronously, webhooks which are executed asynchronously, or by using the public API endpoints. <laughs>